At the beginning of the story we see a ruined world, which was created by artificial intelligence. The AI which was created by humans to help them. Today the same AI is after the lives of humans. At one place AI attacked and killed about 50,000 people. When even this attack did not satisfy the AI, it started spreading its terror everywhere. Until now, he had killed approximately 10 crore innocent people. The whole world is shaken by the terror of AI. Everyone could see the naked dance of death. That's why the government created a military force named ACN, whose job was to protect humans from Harlan. Actually, Harlan was an AI terrorist who started this war with humans. Although Harlan was created to protect the Earth, now his only goal is to destroy the Earth. The military force was doing a very good job. It eliminated AI from the Earth in no time. Seeing his end approaching, Harlan flees this Earth. But before running away, he leaves a message. He says that I started this war and I will end it also. Time passes slowly and now 28 years have passed since this incident. There was peace on Earth for these 28 years, but one day ICN came to know of an artificially enhanced human being. That means he is a human being, but AI has controlled him. Now he is a slave of AI. When the ICN army goes to capture him, he turns red with anger and starts throwing the entire army around like toys. In such a situation, the army had come to know that it could not be caught like humans. In such a situation, they catch it by giving electric shocks. This bastard's name was Casca. After this we see our main character, whose name is Atlas. Atlas is a terrorist analyst for ICN. Atlas knew a lot about artificial intelligence. She had spent her entire life studying AI. Atlas has spent all his time on AI, due to which he did not even get married. Then Atlas learns that the ICN army has captured Harlan's pet dog, Casca. Seeing all this, Atlas also gets very nervous. After this, she immediately leaves for the meeting with ICN. Then we see the journal, who was with the colonel. Journal says I have a lot of confidence in Atlas. I'm sure she will find out something about Harlan. But the colonel was not ready to work with him, because he did not socialize much with people. The colonel says that if Atlas fails to interview Casca today, we will never be able to reach mastermind Harlan. But in the eyes of the journal, no one was more capable than Atlas. After this, journal meets Atlas and tells him that Harlan is definitely going to play a big game. It is possible that he may destroy the entire earth at once. You have only one chance to know about all this. You must get Casca to spill something about Harlan. After this, Atlas gets alert and goes to Casca. Atlas talks to Casca for a long time. And then finally she asks her about Harlan. But Casca was very cunning, he was not telling anything about Harlan. In such a situation, Atlas gets very angry, and she gives several electric shocks to Casca, and she also threatens to reset her. But these threats have no effect on Casca. Yet Atlas sets about resetting him, and tricks him into finding out about Harlan. Atlas learns that Harlan is currently on another planet. Now Casca had understood that this cunning woman had extracted important information from her. In such a situation, he gets angry and attacks Atlas. But Atlas was no child. He already knew that Casca would definitely do this, so he had created a security shield in front of himself. Now as soon as she finds out about Harlan, she kills him by giving him an electric shock. Seeing all this, the entire ICN team was quite impressed with Atlas, because what ICN had not been able to do for so many years, a single Atlas had done today. Now ACN plans to go to Harlan's planet and eliminate him there. Atlas also requests journals to be a part of this mission. She says that she wants to see Harlan die with my own eyes. Only then will she find peace. In such a situation, journal introduces Atlas to the colonel, who was the head of this mission. But the colonel did not want to include Atlas in this mission. Then Atlas says that you are very wrong. If you think that killing Harlan is a child's play, then you are mistaken. Colonel, you have grown up but your mind has not grown up, you still think like a child. Because of your mistake, you will get the entire ICN team killed. Without me this mission cannot be successful. There was passion in Atlas's words, so the colonel agrees to Atlas's words. Then the colonel shows Atlas a robotic suit, inside which he had to fight the AI. This robot is linked to the human through a Neuralink device. Here we learn that this Neuralink device was created by Atlas's mom, who was a very famous scientist of ICN. Atlas gets furious after hearing about this device. 
the colonel calms her down and says that I know that your mom was killed because of this, but this device is absolutely safe. It has been updated. The colonel says that they will land on Harlan's planet in these big robotic suits and a very big spaceship. That spaceship will have enough gunpowder to destroy the entire planet, and then he will defeat Harlan very easily. After this we see that through spaceship they set out to find Harlan's planet. As soon as their spaceship comes out of the Earth, we see that there was huge laser security there. Then after a lot of checking, this spaceship comes out of that security. The purpose of creating this security was to prevent Harlan from reaching Earth. While doing her work inside the Atus spaceship, she remembers her past. A photo appears in front of her in which she, her mom and Harlan were there. Actually, Harlan was created by Atlas's mother, and he used to work as a servant in their house. Atlas's mother had created the Neuralink device, through which artificial intelligence and humans could be combined, due to which the mental and physical strength of a person could increase up to 10 times. After this we see that these people were about to reach Harlan's planet through spaceship. But before that, Atlas gives everyone some printouts and asks everyone to take out their Neuralinks, because according to him, it was just a simple device, which was very easy to hack. Atlas then starts giving everyone information about Harlan's planet. She tells that humans cannot survive on her planet. But here everyone finds Atlas's words childish, and they start laughing at him. On this Atlas says, What do you know about Harlan? I know Harlan, and the Neuralink device and robot about which you are so confident. Let me remind you that it is also a device which can be hacked at any time. And when your device gets hacked, then understand that it will take only a few seconds for you to be killed. In such a situation, everyone starts getting scared after hearing the words of Atlas. Then the colonel says to Atlas, what have you done? You've already scared the crew before the mission. In such a situation, Atlas also realizes her mistake, so she apologizes. After some time, these people had come very close to Harlan's planet. The colonel puts on his robotic suit here, Atlas tells the colonel that if you catch Harlan here, then understand that this is a trap laid by Harlan himself. While they were talking, they were attacked. Because Harlan had received the news of their arrival, he was welcoming them with great fanfare. He had started destroying their battleship. In such a situation, to save Atlas's life, they force him into a robotic suit. Although Atlas was repeatedly refusing me that I should not sit in this device, I could die in it because I did not know how to operate it. But no one had time to listen to Atlas's words because his battleship had been destroyed. Therefore, to save their lives, they start jumping on the planet. But meanwhile, they are attacked by many AI robots. The battleship was also destroyed and falling down. Atlas was shocked because the battleship was right on top of her, which meant it would fall on top of her and she would die. But then luckily a soldier saves Atlas the colonel gives Atlas a message that he should use the Neuralink, but Atlas did not trust AI programs, so it does not use Neuralink, due to which his robotic suit falls down with great force, due to which Atlas also gets seriously injured. Atlas becomes unconscious. Then when she regains consciousness, she finds herself alone there. There was no one around her. She also tries to contact other people, but she fails to do this too. Atlas feels like crying because of his condition. Atlas reluctantly turns on the robotic suit because she had to get to the rescue pod to save her life. But the rescue pod was far away. Then she asks the robot to take her to the rescue pod. Listening to Atlas, the robot starts taking him to the rescue pod. But the robot was jumping very hard, which meant that the AI robots could see it at any time and then kill Atlas. Then Atlas asks him to walk slowly. But he does not obey Atlas's commands, because Atlas had not yet connected itself to him. In such a situation, Atlas connects itself with the robot even if it does not want to, and then the robot slowly starts walking towards the rescue pod. On the way, Atlas asks the robot how many weapons we have. The robot says that we have total seven weapons, but one weapon is very powerful. It is an iron bomb with which we can destroy almost half the planet, then the robot tells Atlas that my name is Smith. Atlas says there's no need to tell you the name. Smith says that I was just getting to know each other like this. Then while walking, they reach the place where their spaceship was destroyed. Atlas sees that not a single Asian soldier was left alive as they were all killed by Harlan's AI robots. 
Then Atlas goes to the Colonel's suit and sees that the Colonel is not in his suit. Then Atlas sees Harlan's assistant, Casca. But Atlas is quite surprised to see him because he himself had killed Casca. But then Atlas realizes that Harlan must have created another Casca. Just then many AI robots had arrived here, whose eyes have fallen on Atlas. Everyone attacks Atlas and Atlas starts running away to save his life. There were so many of them, it was becoming very difficult for Atlas to fight them. In such a situation, Atlas asks Smith to use Iron Bomb. However, Smith refuses to do this, but at Atlas' repeated request, Smith uses the Iron Bomb, which destroys everything along with all the robots. But the surprising thing was that Casca did not die even from this attack, now he was coming near Atlas. Now before he can kill Atlas, cracks start appearing in the ground, and Atlas goes inside the earth. Atlas' left leg was also broken due to the fall, so Smith fixes a metal plate in his leg so that his leg does not get further damaged. Atlas was in a lot of pain due to this entire process. When Atlas can no longer bear the pain, Smith gives him a lollipop, which reduces Atlas' pain and gives him a lot of energy. Atlas feels as if she will die here, she will never be able to go out of here. Now Smith tells Atlas that if you do not support me, we both may be destroyed. You will have to be completely linked with me. After a lot of thinking, Atlas links herself with Smith. The is, she uses the Neuralink device. And now these people become completely linked to each other. Casca, on the other hand, had told Harlan the humans had arrived on this planet. Then we see the colonel who was in Harlan's captivity. Harlan was torturing the colonel a lot. If these scenes were shown to you then your soul would tremble, but I will not show it because I am worried about you. Whereas Atlas was thinking of getting out of her robotic suit, but she also knew that if she went out, the AI robots outside would kill her. Then Smith says that if we go straight up, we will have to face a lot of difficulties, and there is also danger above. So I have found an intelligence path, we follow that. Then after taking permission from Atlas, Smith takes him out through a cave, due to which he is saved from the AI robots also. But us, they fall into the sights of a drone, and Casca comes to know their location. Now Smith also knew that Casca would come to catch them, so Smith plants some bombs on the way. And as soon as Casca arrives there, there is a huge explosion. In such a situation, they feel that now Casca must be dead. So when they go to look back, they see that Casca's head was still getting fresh air. In such a situation, they crush its head, and from the system installed in the head, they come to know that Harlan is also there somewhere. In such a situation, Atlas wanted to go to Harlan as soon as possible and send the ICN team to his location on Earth so that another ICN team could come and eliminate Harlan. Although Smith forbids Atlas to do so, Atlas refuses, and she removes Smith's Neuralink to which she was connected. But Smith was still somewhat connected to him. He tries to make Atlas emotional by showing him his past. On this Atlas says that Smith we do not have time to be emotional. If we do not take this step today, then the sacrifice of all the soldiers who have been martyred here will go in vain. In this situation, Smith agrees with Atlas, and they reach Harlan's base. Atlas is blown away by the view here, because Harlan had also captured their battleship, and he also had their bomb with which he could destroy half the Earth. The technology here was also very advanced. Then suddenly a drone notices Smith, and AI robots start attacking him. Then while running, Smith suddenly falls down. He was not able to run because he had been hacked. Atlas is sending all the information from here to Earth. But now this message of Atlas also stops. The journalists on Earth were worried. They too feared that Harlan might take over their battleship, because if this happens then it will destroy the entire Earth. Then Atlas is captured and brought before Harlan. Harlan tells Atlas I love you very much. Don't be afraid, I am doing this work only for the welfare of the Earth, because the condition of the Earth the humans are doing will destroy the Earth in a short time. But I will never let this happen, I will kill half the world and keep the remaining people as my pets. Those remaining people will live a life of luxury. Then Harlan says that your coming here was also a part of my plan, because I myself wanted ICN to come here, and then I could snatch the battleship and bomb from them. Then he asks Atlas for the code of the security system built outside the Earth, so that he can enter the Earth. But Atlas did not know that code. He tortures Atlas a lot for not telling him the code. There was also a colonel there, whom Harlan had tortured a lot, 
The colonel asks Harlan where Smith is. Atlas says maybe it's been hacked, or its battery is dead. Then the colonel gives his Neuralink to Atlas and asks him to call Smith to him. Then when Atlas contacts Smith, Smith says that I cannot come to you because I could not connect with you 100%. Hearing this, Atlas starts crying loudly. He felt that all the problems in the world were because of him only. On this, the colonel says, Atlas, it is not your fault. Your mother had created Harlan for her own good. But he broke his security protocol and started doing these wrong things. Then the story goes into flashback. We see that Atlas' mom loved Harlan very much. Harlan wanted his mother to love him as much as she loved Harlan. So Atlas started modeling himself like Harlan. She picks up the Neuralink her mother made and connects Harlan to herself. At that time, Atlas was an innocent child. She had no idea what harm it could cause. And Harlan took advantage of this. He broke all the protocols one by one and started creating havoc. For this reason, Atlas considered itself responsible for all these things, crying, Atlas tells the colonel that everything happened because of me. I am responsible for everything. My mother was killed because of me, because Harlan wanted to kill me, but my mom sacrificed herself to save me. Smith was also listening to all these things of Atlas, and because of this it now gets 100% connected with Atlas. In such a situation, Atlas sits inside Smith. Then Atlas fights very bravely here using Smith's four hands. Atlas had created havoc everywhere, then Atlas sees that the battleship built by Icean was going to wreak havoc on Earth at the behest of Harlan. So Atlas starts firing on the battleship to stop it. After a lot of struggle, Atlas succeeds in destroying the battleship. And seeing this, Harlan's pants get wet. Then in anger Harlan attacks Atlas with his powerful sword. But Atlas knew Harlan's moves very well, so she was fighting very well. But then Harlan begins to overwhelm Atlas and Atlas becomes unconscious. In such a situation, to save Atlas, Smith throws Atlas out of himself, and at the same time he was also fighting with Harlan, with one of his hands. Now Harlan attacks Smith's AI system. Before he destroys Smith's entire system, someone eliminates Harlan from behind. We see that it was none other than Atlas itself. Atlas was looking at Smith lovingly, because Smith had saved his life, despite not wanting, Atlas had once made friends with AI. Now Smith decides to disable himself to save Atlas, because it is not easy for humans to survive on the planet they are on. But Atlas had fallen in love with Smith, so she did not want Smith to become disabled. But Smith disables himself by giving Atlas an energy lollipop, due to which Atlas becomes very emotional. Then the ICN team rescues Atlas. After this we see Atlas on Earth. Everyone appreciates Atlas, because Atlas had gone to another planet and killed Harlan, the enemy of the Earth. And now because of Atlas their world was safe. 